Got a bit of a familiar face on tonight's Jeopardy episode. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. Of course, Fred has been around for now five days. But I'm talking about Mara, who has been following this blog for a long time, and I didn't know she was going to be on, so congratulations for getting on the show and for a, a fine performance so far. 10,400, definitely in the thick of things. As it spills at 8,400, Fred 11.6. I hope my wages properly tonight, but uh, I know what the lights can do to people. So we will see what everyone should do. Uh, Fred is the wild card here, of course, because odds are good he's not going to wager for the lockout. So I guess I could see some alternative wagers, although maybe that's just a mind game that he's playing. 20,800. That's going to be 9,200 for the lockout. He's wrong with that wager. He's gonna be left with 2,400. So that's 6,000 for Phyllis at most, and for Mara, that's gonna be 8,000. Oh, nice. They're separated by two. If Phyllis doubles up, I can do that old trick that I like, where I just take the difference between these two and then take the difference again. So 84.64 would be what Mara has to wager to cover Phyllis. And I guess I could also do uh, a 5,200 for Fred, although I don't like that at all. Oh, you never know. <clears throat> uh, if Fred's wrong with that, he would have 6,400, 6, so that would cap Phil's at 2,000, although you never know. And uh, if Mara gets it wrong, she's got 4,000, so I would definitely cap it at uh, 4,400. If I am Phyllis. All right, we're done with this brown color, and I'm going to use light blue. Man, talk about bad categories. This category is awful for me, too. British Musical Theater, I think it was. Uh, let's start with Mara going for this 8,000 amount. That's going to be 18.4, uh, so Fred would have to wager 6,800. I guess I could see it. Now we're just getting into the weeds at this point. 6,800, that's going to be, well, 5,600. Let's try another uh, 1,200 from that. I'm just kind of freewheeling here. I might cap my wager at 3,600 now from Phyllis. Okay, Phyllis goes for this uh, 4,400. No, let's do the 6,000 off first. Uh, 6,000, uh, 14,4. I guess that's 4,000 for Mara. And uh, 30, 2800 for Fred, but now we're just really, uh, yeah, we're getting too, too wild. I'm just gonna stop there. Although, <laughs> I might have to backtrack after we see what the actual wages are just to see if they made sense. Uh, zero covers 1200 for Mara and Fred, it's gonna be 2400 or 1200. Uh, yeah, I guess 1200 on the downside. Difference between Fred and Phyllis. I gotta. I'll do these two first. Two thousand for Mara. That's there, and cap this one at four thousand. Oh, I like that. I right over the pink with the blue. It turns into that what, Superman ice cream flavor color. Pink and blue mixed together. It's kind of late. It's been a long day. Uh, and that's a minimum of no well, two thousand there and four thousand here. And that's exactly what. What was that? Oh, that was for Fred. Yeah, I wouldn't put too much stock in that, although you never know. Uh, these two are separated by 3,200, so 3,200, 6,400. I could, eh, no. No reason to go all in there. Uh, 3,200, I guess it's going to go there. I still don't like that wager. Uh, okay, so what do I think everyone should do? I turn the TV back on. If, well, I don't know what Fred's going to do. It's 9,200. That's obviously his best way to buy it. The odds are low that he's actually going to do that. Uh, if I'm Mara, I'm probably going for this range here. Uh, and if I'm Phyllis, it might stay small with 2,000. I might even consider wagering zero here because I'm pretty sure Mara's going to go big-ish to lock me out. And... Uh, you know, you never know what Fred's going to do, and you got to depend on probably both of them getting wrong to have a chance. So I would actually think of wagering zero from Phyllis. 
And now we'll uh, we'll get this clue wrong, and uh, <laughs> well, I will. And then we'll go from there. Kinky, no, um, Full Monty. A critic said, I doubt if there's a single joke in this 1885 work that fits the Japanese, but all the jokes fit the English. 30 second players are I had the clue on Pacific Overtures in my UTSC and I missed it by saying Miss Saigon, so not to decide which one it is. Well, I, I started writing this, so. Overtures? No, I'm going Pacific Overtures because that's about the time that uh, Gilbert and Sullivan would have been writing. So, uh, yeah, Miss Saigon's too recent. So, I'm going to stick with that. We'll see what everyone did. Phyllis, you were in third place with 8400, and what did you come up with as your response? What is the Mikado? Yes, indeed, that's right. Didn't even cross my mind. Alright, that was that was an acceptable way, but I should have put it down there. Ooh, yeah, nice wager. That puts her in the lead with 16,801 as we come to Fred. He had 11,600 and he came up with the Mikado. Wager enough? And did he risk more than 5,200? He risked only 5,000, so he's going to finish with 16,600 and Wow. Nice. That's a great reaction. Was I just completely wrong in Civic Overtures? I mean, that... Is that Rogers and Hammerstein? Yeah, damn it. Weaknesses on pop culture, but uh, you know, Fred's wagering caught up to him. But four games and sixty-four thousand dollars—that could very well be enough to get him into the tournament of champions. Mara, congrats on the win, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And especially congrats on the wager. And uh, Phyllis, nice wager as well. Nice get there. If uh, other things had not gone so well for Fred and Mara, she would have picked up the win. So we will uh, close out the week tomorrow, and I hope you'll join me then. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention. What was up with Alex doing that voice on the Daily Double about the old man in the sea? Did that... That threw me off. I had no idea what he was going for there. I, and of course, maybe that could have affected what Phyllis said in her response. I will never know. I just wish he wouldn't do voices because they either give the clue away or provide additional information that helps get the clue or they just straight up throw people off. I mean, it almost sounds like Dracula a little bit there. Okay, enough of that. We'll see you tomorrow, right here, on the final wager.